Truth the girls. Hi everyone, Truth the girls. Sonia here. Researchers think portals may link our visible world with the dark sector. The reason I'm bringing this article up is because I've noticed that some people are taking this to mean that scientists are actually opening portals that will give them access to the demonic. So what is it that they're actually doing? You know, there is visible matter in the universe that emits light or energy. And then there's what they call dark matter, which means that it's not that a void. There is something there, but for some reason it doesn't emit light or energy and they can't see it. Well, they're not talking about sending scientists through portals straight through the gates of hell. Ah! They're talking about communication between the visible, which is the known, and the dark particles the ones that normally the physicists can't see or access. And they've somehow figured out a way to do that. So these portals would exist in the quantum realm, the scale of which is nearly incomprehensibly small. The team is now working on proposing experiments that would use these portals to actually decipher once and for all if axions and dark photons really do exist. So I, 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 don't, I don't think this has anything to do with accessing the demonic. I'll tell you why. First of all, Genesis 1, the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I mean, God created everything uh, in the heavens and the earth, including the things that we just don't understand much about. And there's Acts 17, 24. God made the world and everything in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, we, you, you and I, we don't know what dark matter is. I mean, for all we know, uh, it could be holding together the universe. I think there is nothing in this universe that God didn't create intentionally. Uh, on, you know, on a natural level or a level of physics. We don't understand all the physics of the cosmos. And so there is this visible matter that emits light and energy. And there's something else in there. And it probably serves a purpose. And it's part of God's design. Ephesians 6.12 for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this world's darkness, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. This doesn't mean that you're going to find them in some kind of matter. There is the natural physical world and there is the spiritual realm. And there's no reason to think that a type of particle in the natural world is, is actually something that you can see and have tangible proof of from the spiritual realm. Not to say that portals to the demonic don't exist. See, this is the thing. Why are we worried about what some scientist is looking at through a microscope? I mean, time will tell if anything that they're doing is evil. But right now, as it is, there are already portals to the demonic. Oh, you all know the old Ouija board? Well, in our high-tech world, we've taken it to a new level. There are now apps uh, for your iPad or your Android that will let you communicate with spirits. And there are a whole lot of people making videos about this on YouTube. Communication with spirit world using spirit box. Experiment with EVP spirit box, the portal app. There's the portal. There's your portal to the demonic. And there was one last thing. The portal to the demonic that someone had brought up. Could it be the fifth angel of the trumpet of revelation? As in, when he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. The sun and sky were darkened by the smoke from the abyss, and out of the smoke, locusts came down to earth and were given power like that of scorpions of the earth. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any plant or tree, but only those people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were not allowed to kill them, but only to torture them for five months. And the agony they suffered was like that of the sting of a scorpion when it strikes. During those days, people will seek death but will not find it. They will long to die, but death will elude them. So this is part of the prophecy of Revelation. Could this science experiment have something to do with the pit? I kind of doubt it because Revelation says a fifth angel sounded the trumpet and I saw a star that had fallen from the sky to earth and the star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. It was a supernatural event from God foretold in prophecy that leads to the opening of the abyss. It doesn't say anything about physicists here. It says the angel sound the trumpet 
The star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss, and when he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. Okay, so to say that uh, this was all brought on by the research of these physicists, I'd say it's a stretch. What can I say? So that's, that's it. That's what I think. I don't think that uh, this research into these um, quantum physics portals is heralding the coming of the apocalypse. Well, let me know what you think. Thanks for liking and sharing my video. And uh, thanks for listening to me, and I'll see you next time.